My name is Jessica Thayer. I'm a senior studying law philosophy at Frostburg State University. Um, I'm the vice president of the Student Government Association and the founder and president of our university debate team. I, you know, had discussed politics with my grandparents for quite a while. And, um, you know, before I was really old enough to vote, I had just sort of assumed that they voted and that, you know, almost everybody old enough to vote would just go vote because that's, you know, that's their duty. That's what they're meant to do. A few years ago, I discovered that my grandmother wasn't registered to vote. And it sort of just blew me away because, you know, the conversations that we would have about politics and the changes that she wishes to see, it would just stop at the discussion. You know, it's not like any action would result out of that because she didn't go vote. And that really changed my perspective um, and really reminded me of how far we've came, I think, as a country, too. So previously, you know, I think there were a lot of party loyalists who held up, you know, the party line. And you could always count on older voters to come out and go to the polls. And, you know, young voters weren't really seen to be as active. But today's America is... A really is really seeing a rise in young voters and young advocates and young activists. And I think, um, you know, just one notion that really stands out to me is, you know, the transition that we've made from my vote doesn't count to count every single vote. And if there's anything 2020 taught us, it was the power of each and every single one of our votes. Um, I mean, really, if you break it down to the most basic level, you know, that's how you get a majority. If enough people thought, oh, my vote doesn't matter, you know, we would never, we would never get a majority, nothing would ever get passed. Um, you know, it's people, I think, who tell you, oh, your vote doesn't matter, are probably just scared of your vote. And that is all the more reason to get out and go vote. Um, so I am thrilled to see young people getting more active and engaged with politics because, you know, they are the future. And, you know, the sooner we can get involved and the sooner that we can share the concerns that are important to our communities and the goals that we have set for ourselves, the more people will hear us. And I think that it's a really, really awesome time for young Americans right now. And, you know, we're bringing up issues that have needed to be addressed for so many years. And, you know, I think this unsilencing happened, you know, where oh. people are not afraid to speak out and people are not afraid to, you know, really share the hard issues and have the hard conversations that are really, you know, lying at the heart sometimes of our American divide. So I, I'm really thrilled to see that.